Hi, welcome to our reading for Thursday the 3rd of November 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We are all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everyone involved. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave? Crushing into the wave? Riding the wave? Or ignoring the wave? Also, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the links below. Show your love support to the artists and musicians and see if there's more signs and symbols depth to the reading for today for you. And um, if you want more clarity, I would say check out the early November readings for whatever sign is in your chart astrologically speaking, that draws you in. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Mars, your Venus. I'll put links below. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in a moment. Hi, welcome. This is our reading for Thursday, the 3rd of November, 2015. Let's begin and see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for Thursday, the 3rd. November 2016, one card for the highest, greatest good of all, clarity on the energies of the day and how to ride these energies best. The Four of Coins. So... The first thing I heard is feeling stuck, bored, money coming in, but needing to get out. Oh my, that's so weird. I never noticed that. These cards are still new. So look at this floating castle city thing, right? Look at it this way. You know, it's almost like there's a reflection here, except in the reflection, her head is a green dice, like a green die, um, a green guy, um, somebody green or thinking of money who takes risks or doesn't take risks. There's a business suit on him or her and she has a little princess outfit here. Look at this guy. Can you see him? Right. And look at her. And he looks interested, but focused on something, but not much uh, expression going on. And she looks bored. She's like bored, doesn't want to be there. She doesn't even want to look at the clock or the watch anymore. She just wants to be somewhere else. Her head is somewhere else. So needing a change. Um, there's pieces falling off of the flying castle on the ground, like in the gray, in the fog, in the smog, although there's light this way. If you just clear the smog away, the smog is by him here, and there's all of these pieces. But on it's funny, on his side, when you look at it like this, when you look at it upside down, there's all these little pieces up here but nothing is falling down towards him. He's like waiting for something to come, but like he's not doing something, so nothing is coming, right? There's nothing coming in because it's just stagnant here on this floating castle. It's just stuck in the smog, you know? So maybe you took a chance on something or you're not taking a chance on something or you're just in the same repetitive thing over and over, so there's nothing new coming in here. Now this way, at least on her end, she's not focused on where she 
is. She kind of want to get. She wants to get somewhere else. She's looking somewhere else. But the sky is clear here, minus the one chemtrail. But at least she's clearing the way, and things are clearing up. And uh, you know, it's the chemtrails aren't working down here like where he is. You know, it's something is clearing. The energy is clearing. There's a healing in the air here. <laughs> Makes me think of organite. And then there's this little button, this coin, this thing coming out of the sky for her. Um, so it's her focus. It's getting out of there. It's that change. It's wanting change. It's wanting to leave, wanting to change something that's stagnant here that is actually bringing some change and clarity in. So, it's like a penny is coming in, you know, you can save your money and have it all build up in this flying castle here, but eventually it will, it will get full. You can only hold so much before you have to release something, you know, to get something better in. So you have to see the value of what's inside here, what you're working for, where your time is being placed, if it's circulating correctly. So if it's getting stuck somewhere and not circulating, there's something that needs to change. You have to throw a coin in the mix and bring it to the five to have some change. So it comes to the ground, so something can grow, so something can move. Because here it's just kind of like bored. You know, I, I hear bored. That's it. So even if that circulation just you know, keeps coming in around, I feel like it needs to be filtered still. There still needs to be a catalyst, a spark of something different, because eventually that filter needs to be changed. You know, eventually, it change has to occur. So let's get more clarity on the Four of Pentacles. Um, let's go to the Oracle deck and get some clarity on the Four of Pentacles for Thursday. Uh, I heard urgency, but that card isn't urgency. Maybe you're feeling the need to change or something's coming in that's different, so you have to. You have to look at things differently. Um, Would be two, two different parties involved here, you know, ref different reflections, a couple, or somebody with a connection that has two different, maybe they work in the same place, but they have two different focuses, um, two different dreams, uh, different intentions, something like that. There's a reflection, though. There's still something that's making these two look at one another or opposite one another. Maybe opposing opinions um, around you that's creating change or that's going to create change or change needs to come because of different opinions. Get another card. Clarity on the four of coins. like the same that's crazy that looks like look at that it's like it's like the same card this is the it is the same artist but this is the tarot and that's the oracle look at that so it's like the same princess except there's no dude with his head looking weird here there's a real person wanting to come into this kingdom not knowing how to get in, but there's like, you know, she knows he's there. I feel like that's like the bell or the button. There's like an eyeball looking at this guy. There's no bridge to get in. He has to figure it out a way in here. And there's like, there's like this snake thing, this like flying dragon. There's like a bee butterfly, a fish. All these weird little, like, building blocks. But this is also 19. It makes me think of the sun. And she doesn't look bored here. She's interested in this guy. She's interested in something. So something snapped her out of boredom here. Um, interest, flying away. The little butterfly is by her. 
um, focusing on something outside, wanting to leave, wanting to leave the city, wanting to leave your home, wanting to leave your surroundings. But it's also 19. This is making it to the top. It's like it's like the sun, but it's it's called management. So it's having having your shit together, basically, like being able to manage a bunch of stuff all going on at once, like a whole um, I'm getting like a business or like, yeah, like a big business, a home business, a lot going on at once that takes different focal points and there's different things going on. There's different like I'm getting departments here, like different areas where different things happen that all come together at the end to build this tower, this business, this relationship, even, um, even a home, maybe an actual, like actually building a home. Um, but this is making it to the top. You're at the top of your tower, the top of your game, almost. It's like you're there, but maybe you got to the top of your game and you saw the reflection and th th there needs to be some change. You have to put yourself into the mix. You have to leave this environment to throw, you know, throw the dice and bring some change in here. Um, it's having, you know, everything under control. Almost like the Emperor, but it's a her. So I feel like it's the Empress as well. Um, it's a balance in this block world. <laughs> Everything is blocks, squares. Um, here's statistics and, you know, like numbers and stuff like that. I'm getting like, I don't know what that means. Like something calculating, maybe time, tick-tock, tick-tock, something like that, where something runs smoothly all the time. Um, I feel like this scene is running all the time like a city or even like a home, you know, there's always something going on, even though the people, you know, change positions, move around, she goes down and takes a nap or sleeps, but maybe there's no, no, I feel like no, no way out is what I hear. You need to get out, something like that, need to leave. Um, something wants to come in and she looks like she wants to get out. So there needs to be a connection somewhere, a bridge built, um, a change in um, a change in something to connect the situation to continue management when things change there's blocks and they're being built so there's always areas where there's something new that needs to come on be placed um, grow so there needs to be growth um, I don't know. I, I keep feeling like there's something being blocked out on purpose before. And now you're looking at something closely before you let it in, if that makes sense. Or that's somebody else looking at something very closely about where you, like your environment or you, or I feel like this person's, where this little person's curious here. Where are you? It wants to get in. But this person's looking really closely before they unlock something, before they allow them to, like the secret passage way in. I just heard heart. So maybe this is a heart matter around a lot of uh, work issues or home issues. Or maybe you're from two different places. You know, this, I feel like this place is really stable. It's coming from the ground. It's constantly being built, grown. Um, and this one looks like it's floating. So maybe this is somebody that like, I don't know. I don't know if this is different or the same, or maybe you want to take home with you somewhere else where there's a different reflection, building something solid somewhere else. Uh, let's get another card. Let's get to another card. I'm going to go to the wild wood tarot and let's get clarity on management um maybe something had to be learned like you had to learn how to manage something first to get it you know solid uh where it's constantly being built but now you're at the point where you can see clearly what's going on under you so you're ready to let somebody else in The 
Four of Pentacles. This could also be the miser holding on to something too tightly and not allowing something in that could be even emotions, even though it's a pentacles. Um, because if you're ignoring emotions of your heart or something like that and you're pushing it in, holding on too tightly and not saying something, um, it's still like penny pinching because you're, uh, I feel like your focus changes or your filter changes on the things that you're trying to actually bring in. And when you're leaving love out somewhere, uh, it creates an imbalance, even if that's a love for what you do, you know, a love in your job, if that's left out, um, there's an imbalance there. Even if something's coming in, you know, money in the bank, money in the bank, money in the bank, but heart, you know, that I feel like there's maybe something that is being held that needs to be expressed for some reason. So let's get a card for Thursday. Hello. Hello. And that's the four of arrows. So that's like, uh, four of arrows. It's called rest. Hi. So it's like the four swords. It's actually resting, taking a nap, getting away. Um, I feel like this isn't like somebody just literally like went out on a lunch break and they were so tired. Like they fell asleep in the park or they, they're ready to fall asleep wherever they are or something needs to be put to rest. There's stability here. Um, you know, because maybe you were building something so hard, working so hard, and now you have to rest. I feel like, you know, for yesterday, it was that retreat. It was the same thing. It was working a lot in an area where it needs to be replenished in a different area. So this could just be replenishing your energy rest so you can transform the situation, so you can fly free out of the situation. I feel like it's you're, you're like... You're so dumb. Look at you. Look at how that person is sleeping. They didn't even, you know, they, they just passed out. That's like a nap sleep. That's when you're really tired. I feel like, yeah, that's like falling asleep, like on the ground by a fire or, you know, like, yeah, I feel like that's like on the carpet with a pillow or on the couch or just, you're just tired. Um, so I feel like this person's definitely dreaming or they're so deep in sleep they haven't even gotten to that point where they're dreaming yet. But I feel like it's like a cocoon, you know, even though there's no blankets, I feel like that person's in their little cocoon. They're out. So it's time to go to your cocoon so something can transform and change and your juices can merge again and like get back in alignment here so you can make good decisions that make good stability. I feel like this is actually getting away for some of you. I feel like you're, you have to plan a trip, you know, plan somewhere where you actually get away, um, from something, even if it's, um, yeah, <sighs> or just sleep more. Um, so you make clear decisions. So you're, um, I feel like it's an energy thing. You know, you're just tired. Let's get another card. I'm going to get a card from the, um, well, I grabbed the Thelema, so let's get a card from the Thelema Tarot on the Four of Arrows, Rest, um, the Four of Pentacles, and number 19, Management. I, I hear smoother after sleep, everything's smoother after sleep. Like, so maybe things are like, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing sta stagnant and lifted off the ground. So I feel like, I don't know. I'm not sure what that means. Let's get more clarity. Maybe the, I don't know. Maybe you, you're, you know, you're off the ground, you're moving above a situation, you're seeing something clearly um, that's going on in the bigger picture, but you have to figure out how to get it moving smoothly. So, um, 
have to disconnect first for you. Like, it's almost like your battery's going, 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 going like the problem and you need to retreat. I'm getting retreat again. So I feel like this, this is merging a little bit with yesterday. Um, let's get another card. And that's a tower. So big changes. Maybe something's blasting the tower. Something's coming in. Um, something needs to happen. This is, maybe you need to sleep because of this tower or sleep because, you know, this tower is coming. Um, so this could be telling you something. Maybe you need to rest for something big coming. <laughs> Boom. That's how I just saw this tower, by the way. So, um, I just saw this as something like blasted. So I actually just saw this tower in a totally different way than most people take the tower and um, are, a little, are a little scared of the tower. Uh, maybe this is not a scary tower. Maybe this is a different kind of tower. Maybe this um, little guy or gal here actually makes it in and comes into the tower and this tower makes an explosion kind of thing. That's what I'm getting. So maybe something is coming um, and that changes everything. So maybe you do need to, sorry, this is making me blush. So that's not the typical meaning I get with the tower, but that's what's coming through. So maybe there's a tower about to burst, you know, and you need some rest first. So you're ready for this transformation that occurs. Maybe it changes everything. Um, there's lightning again. So it's like, I see it as red, like passionate lightning, but this could also be like something ripped out from under your feet kind of thing. It's not that for everybody. Um, it could be something taken away really fast, something changing really fast, even an opinion changing really fast. All of a sudden, um, something inside of you that just totally changes and everything's different. It's usually fast. It's usually uh, unexpected. Or at least if you expect this situation to occur, maybe you don't expect how you'll react or your actual reaction to that situation. Um, it could also be the surroundings. You know, this could be your environment, something around you changing big time. And it... Uh, uh, the, the, like the lesson is how you react to this change in your surroundings. So I need to pull another card now that we went to the tower. So let's go to the steampunk and get another card on. I mean, I look at this and I see a tower here, a city, something you built. Um, so you're changing the way you see something you built. Um, Let's see. Tower is also number 16. Um, so I feel like after the tower blasts, it takes you to the star. It actually brings you your hopes. It actually brings you what you really need. The tower just rips away shit that's not important. It's not good for you. Maybe you thought it was important, but it's actually stuff that in the end is not important. So sometimes the tower is like, where you're wasting your energy and this if you don't change it on your own if you're just stag stagnant and floating and you know bored then this tower comes in and gives a little excitement sometimes it throws a monkey wrench in the mix it takes something away that didn't work so something that can work can come in because maybe you weren't seeing what you need to bring in because you were just focused on all of this stuff going around you all of the time. So sometimes it takes a flash you know, of lightning, something like throwing you off your path, throwing you like, huh? Like that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. It sounded like, it sounded like Scooby-Doo to me that like that big, what, what kind of thing that like makes you see something different finally. So, um, let's see, let's get another card for the tower management. Um, 
it could be somebody thrown off their tower too, you know, um, they were at the top and things changed. That could be somebody around you and you're, I feel like that's not you. I feel like this is around you. I feel like this tower represents either like something coming out of you or someone else, or if it's like business or something or your surroundings, your home, it's your environment around you changing and your perception on that change. So I don't think it's you getting thrown out of the tower. Perhaps it's somebody else getting thrown out of the tower. Even like a new boss, you're the boss now. And it's not what you thought when you were at the top and you need to change or it's more work than you thought and you need to sleep or it's more work than you thought and now you need to change something so you can sleep. Um, and that's the perception change. You need to change something there so that can be thrown in the mix more. Let's get another card for the tower. Management, 16, 19, and then the four of, well, here it's arrows. And so it's like you're aiming for something. Is arrows? Swords? I think it's swords. Yes. It's like thoughts, words. Um, not, um, I also see like the swords as like, well, it's four corners, like, for um, ideas, for opinions, more opinions, and them coming to a center point or all agreeing to dis disagree kind of thing so that there can be something built. Um, like all standing firm on their own. Like if I look at this, I see that, you know, you could put a blanket or something. You could lay something on top of that and it could look like a block, like here but each has to stand on its own solid for it to hold everything up. I mean, I guess it could have a triangle. It could be three. It could even be two, but it'd be two dimensional. Um, I'm not sure what that meant, but I'm getting blocks and like everyone holding their own and just agreeing. To, I'm getting agreeing to disagree, whatever that means. Let's get another card. Um, putting something the rest, um, figuring something out by putting something the rest and coming up with the answer later. I don't know why I just saw a tent, like almost like putting it like, like a little kid puts up in their living room, you know, and makes like a fort. Like a staycation. <laughs> well, and that's the six of cups. So that's, um, maybe the staycation you're looking at. Maybe this is somebody from your past. Maybe this is the person, maybe this is the tower, somebody from the past coming on back into your world, or that's you going back into someone else's world, running into them, them calling you up, <sighs> reconnecting somehow. It could be children, um, thinking about the past memories, fond memories of the past, um, forgetting about fond memories of the past and somebody only remembering the weird times, but this, I feel like, I feel like this is sweet and I feel like both of these people really still like each other, at least remember each other fondly. It's like sweet gestures in times of smog. It's like in this city again. It's like somebody's bringing somebody flowers, like a, a, I hear forgiveness, I'm sorry. Maybe somebody was planning on coming back and somebody else was surprised. Um... I almost see somebody like, I almost see something like this person looking at these flowers in the store or like outside at like a bodega for this person here. And this person just happens to be there as they were picking out the flowers for that person. So I'm, he I'm hearing synchronicity and yet planned. If that makes sense, that would be divine timing for me. Um, so maybe there's some divine timing happening in this tower. Maybe that's what you're resting up for. Maybe that's coming up. Maybe that's what you're learning how to manage. Um, I feel like this person's coming in, coming back in. Maybe that's going to change how you saw that relationship. How you see it now. What it can be now. Maybe there was, um, maybe you both had to build something up before you could reconnect. 
You know, there, there's something had to be felt. This is always balance. It's um, contentment. I feel like it's sweet times. It's reconnecting. It's making another memory that you remember that's sweet. It's a moment, a gesture. Um, all right, let's get one more card. From the Fairy Tarot for Thursday. More clarity on the Six of Cups, management. Maybe you were home. I, I just heard, uh, yeah, I'm going, I just heard feelings. And this is a, you know, it's a, it's a cups. So maybe there was somebody who was holding on to how they felt and not expressing something. And now they're opening up and maybe the other person just never thought that would happen. Um, and that's the tower. That's the tower is something really unexpected. You really never saw that coming back, that happening again, whatever this is, even if it's just an apology or an explanation or a gesture, it could be a reconnection, it could be a restart in how you see something, but right now I feel like it's just healing something. And I feel like it's really unexpected. Maybe there was somebody who was thinking about this for a while. They had to sleep on it. Or you, you know, let's get one more card. Let's get one more card. Um, I feel like somebody was holding on to something they wanted to say. And there's surprise involved in that because there's smog, you know, things are unclear. It's unclear, dirty, you know, like something happened around. It was just unclear. It was a weird situation. And there's still beauty in that situation. There's still something blossoming in that situation. There's still something alive among all that smog, you know. There's a little bit of blue sky right above them. So, let's get one more card for the day. And that's a lot of information. So, I, I just heard, get ready for things to change. Maybe it's after this run-in, you know, chance meeting, plan meeting, divined connection, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like it was meant, supposed to happen, something like that. Something's supposed to reconnect here. And it changes everything fast. The Eight of Springs is like the Eight of Rods. It's like once this happens, it, 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 everything changes. It, seeds of change go everywhere. Um, maybe you're sleeping to get ready for that or you need to sleep after that happens you know, where that happens and then you just fall asleep. But this is like, this is needing to sleep because you're handling a lot at once, but I feel like it's always success. So <laughs> I'm getting really weird images today. So I just saw uh, like two people together and then passing out on a couch or something like you know, so that, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to put it out there because I hope that's helpful for you. I'm not going to hold back what comes through because I feel like it's supposed to come out, especially if it makes me blush. But this is stress that comes from having too many things happening at once. But successful multitasking, sudden events or changes. That's definitely this. So this is definitely something sudden. You know, it changes everything. Maybe this person comes back in and now you have to figure out how to handle everything you're doing here. I feel like you're handling stuff well here in this management. You got it all going on. But maybe this is that change. This is that little change that makes you have to do everything a little bit different. Maybe you have to figure out how to see this person. Maybe they, this person isn't near you. Maybe they travel or come into town once in a while or they live somewhere far away, kind of, but they're kind of like you, but not. There needs to be a bridge here somewhere built. You have to figure something out. You have to sleep on something. Um, make decisions. Make a lot of decisions now at once because of this. Um, feeling a little bit stressed out now that things are changing, but I feel like it's bright. I feel like you're excited about these changes once it happens. Look at how everything looks. It's like, it's like fireworks. 
it looks like, <laughs> like fireworks are going off now. So maybe this is a little stressful because it brings a lot of change in your world, but maybe it's a happy stress. Or maybe it comes in and it's just happy stress because things like come clear. It doesn't mean you have to get together and go into the, be the bedroom. It's not for everyone in that, in that, you know, for some it's, it's better to not have those kind of fireworks go off, but maybe it's just clarity fireworks. You know, it's something that comes clear. I feel like it's clarity here. You know, it makes you want to change things. Maybe you're stagnant before and holding off on something because you didn't know about something. And now maybe it was just an apology. You couldn't move forward until you knew something like that. It doesn't have to be the same for everyone. It's just flowers. It's simple. It's not everything I'm getting in my head with the fireworks for all of us. Maybe it starts really simple. Let's get one more card. One more card. Let's go to the romance angels. Get one more card for Thursday. Clarity on the Six of Cups. Oh no. All right, let's get more clarity. Um, I just heard offering a job. Maybe somebody runs into somebody from their past and they offer you something, you know, that's a job. Get you out of where you were stuck. This doesn't have to be a romance for anyone, but it could cause fireworks because it changes everything and offers a really good opportunity, but it's something that if you take it, you have to change a lot fast. You have to deal with a lot fast. Schedule changes, calling people, moving. Um, yes, like maybe you're just uh, commuting, something like that, or somebody else is. Um, let's get one more card for the day. Maybe it's because you need more time to get to know each other. Maybe you have to do that first, you know? But as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Getting to know each other. I feel like there's, there's like, I see like two sisters or like two friends and like somebody coming in that's not normal there. Like somebody out of town or somebody that does their hair funny or looks a little different or has some funny stories or there's somebody here who's not sure and there's somebody really entertained by this person. Really glad that they're there to entertain them. So this could be a couple of people getting to know each other, you in a new space, a new job, you know, somebody new coming in that could be, you know, a new boss, um, somebody new coming into your town, your situation, your job. And there's a lot of changes that happen now. Um, or it could just be a new romance, you know, a new relationship, someone getting to know your family, your friends. And I feel like you're just, I feel like you're opening up more and more about funny stories. So maybe you're revealing things slowly here. You know, maybe there was a big change coming, but there needs to be a slow revealing. Um... Let's get one more card. I know this is a long reading. Let's get one more card. This is the um, winged enchantment. Since we have Vincenzo speaking at the end of the video here, Oracle deck, let's get clarity on this whole reading. This was pretty intense. Let's get another reading or another card for the day. And I'm gonna read from this book because it's new and these are all birds. They all mean something different. And that's the pelican, number 27. Oh, I see pebbles. I'm going to see pebbles and feathers. There's like a feather moving down the stream and a a face behind him or her, that bird, like dreaming, I want to say, or like humming, I want to say, or something like that. 27 Pelican, I am Pelican, the, bri the bridge. So the bridge of the head and the heart. So you have to balance what you were doing with your head and what was pursuing and your heart. You have to, there's some heart being added to the mix. I am careful observation. I am planning with room for negotiation. I am the skills you need to reach the goal at hand. I am unfettered fe determination. I am the use of team dynamics. Your outlook is too heavy. Your viewpoint is too restricted. What you require is 
a greater adaptability. I am the release of expectation. I am the effort, effortless flow of one thing to another. I am your need to let things unfold and to take the best catch. The best catch for you. You may have stepped in your own way. You may well be tripping over your own feet. Stay focused, but do not lose sight of the bigger picture. You will always find what you need. You are positive and productive. You are effortless acquisition. You are abundant in resources. You are Pelican. Oh, that just gave me chills. Um, so maybe this connection is helping you um, whatever you're getting to know, this new thing that comes in, whatever was taken away is bringing something new in. Um, getting to know that situation, that relationship, that person, that environment. You know, release expectations on what you thought had to be here and allow something better to come in. Something better, you know. Um, don't focus so much on the box that it's not open for growth. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful for the day. I love you and I'll see you soon.